This is the property on Gus Thornhill. It's a five bedroom, three bath home. Great rental property. Um, you would get quite a bit of money for section eight. This is a street view. As you can see, there are two vacant properties on the street, but I think that's it. Um, there's other areas that have more, but this one should be. I think those are the only two. So, as you can see, a front lawn, clean it up, give a little bit of more of a curb appeal. These stairs would need some stair rail on each side in order to pass code. Keep in mind, if you are looking to rent to Section 8, they do do an inspection prior to uh, letting the people or tenants move in. Uh, as you can see, someone came in here, vandalized the property, um, need some sheetrock. The majority of the wiring has been ripped out, so you need to rewire the home. Uh, new windows. So this is, uh, at one point this was a duplex, not anymore. Now, as I said, it's a five bedroom, three bath home. So we'll go here. This is your first bedroom. There's a door there. Bottom of a toilet. She rock work. This is one of your bathrooms. So there's your stuff for your sink. There's your toilet. It's another bedroom here. This bedroom actually has a full bath. So this is your this is your actual one piece stand up shower. Good shape. Could reuse that. Uh, here's your toilet. And there's your sink. This is another bedroom here. You can see sheetrock damage in the windows. The electricals have been ripped out. There's uh, some insulation you could probably reuse. There's some more sheetrock damage from electrical being ripped out. Have a nice sized living area, as you can see. <clears throat> this is the other side of the property. This is a washer and dryer, your laundry room. Some more sheetrock damage. So as we walk in this side, you have one full bedroom here. Put the flashlight back out. So you see that's your vent for your AC, closet, just a hole that was ripped through there. Uh, need a new window. This here is where your furnace was located. As you can see, here's no longer there. Uh, this room here, it's another bedroom. Again, your vent, new windows, insulation. For some reason, it's pulled out. This is your third bedroom, or sorry, bathroom. And this is where your kitchen, your kitchen once was. Here you have some cabinets. However, they're in decent shape, however. Probably just be easier to replace them or find cabinets that match those. Looks like they were bought at Home Depot unfinished cabinets so <clears throat> you can probably reuse these um, salvage some of these and then buy whatever you need again electrical and the window here so let's go take a look at outside
So outside, really not much to do other than the windows. Um, the siding, when it was recently remodeled before the vandalism, was completely redone, painted, sealed. And it was all done pretty good. Um, you actually also have a new roof on there, or newer roof. With only a few years, obviously you can see where the old roof was ripped off and never picked up. As you can see here, people have been walking through there. <clears throat> you can see where this here has been a path to the back where people are walking through. So eventually you want to gate it off so no one else walks through here. You'll see it's also being used sort of as a dump. So people have been just dropping their trash off here. Uh, the back of the house, you can see the windows are boarded up. The roof is in good condition. So, let's keep walking around the house, look at the other side. <clears throat> there you see where your AC used to be, there's your cutoff for your AC. So the exterior is in good condition. Here's another stairway. You need some uh, rail. Here's your junks, your box. You need to get it electrical replaced. So. As you can see, the property here in East Point, it's a 5-3. You can convert it back to a duplex. You can keep it as a single unit, um, but definitely great cash flow. And this is our property on Gus Thornhill.